All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my stream. I just realized I actually have to change the name of the stream because we currently have the wrong game written there. Uh, I hope this will work with this game. Hi Tybor. I hope this will work with this game because this game gets a little weird when I alt tap and also the volume controls in this game are a bit shit so I apologize in advance for that. Um, let me just see if I can get the stream description changed because right now it still refers to the wrong game. Just gonna change that real quickly. this. Oh god. Is this the right game? I think this is the right game. It sure looks like it. Okay. Cool. Perfect. Um, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Uh, I was trying to sort all of this out yesterday, and uh, then I woke up with a splitting headache, and so that didn't happen. Um, yeah, game categories can be tricky on, on Twitch, especially if you have like the same, if you get, if you have like several games with the same title, and you're just like, ah, oh, which one is it? <laughs> and this one had like 10.1k followers, and I'm like, I didn't think this game would be so popular, but here we are. <laughs> um, I was like, that doesn't sound right, that, <laughs> but okay. Um, anyway, um, I did try to adjust the audio levels of this game as much as possible, but this game somehow uses um, three different audio levels for th uh, dialogue in three different situations, so I'm very sorry if some parts of this video are going to be very quiet and some of it are going to be a bit louder. Um, the music right now, for example, I have that set to 20% um, volume. And in-game it really is like 20% volume, but out here in the menu it's just like super loud. So I apologize for that. Um, also, this game does something weird to my second screen where it just moves all the windows that are there to different places. So I can only see part of my own screen on my second monitor. Um, <laughs> I'm still going to try to follow chat as much as I can, but just be aware that it kind of messes with my layout. Anyway, we're gonna get started. I have not played this game before. I have not um, looked up any walkthroughs or anything. I have read like one or two Steam reviews and that's it. So we're just gonna get into this, see where we can go and if it works. I did launch it already to see if it even launches into the game, which it does. But other than that, I didn't do much yet. So let's see. We got a story mode. Try this one first. Okay, yeah. I we're probably only going to play this once. Um, unless the game is super good, we're not going to do these. But it's nice to know that there's something like a timed run and then there's a pacifist. Finish each level without killing anyone. That's That sounds like something that there would be an achievement for if this game was not from like 2010. You must finish each level without causing too many alarms. Okay. <laughs> That's the curse of low resolution full screen only games with multiple monitors. Okay. Yeah, yeah, th that's that's a good point. I actually had to set the low resolution for this. I had to set it to like, I think 1280 by 960 or something like that. I couldn't run this on my normal resolution. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go with story and we're gonna go with medium. Let's see what this game is about. <laughs> I hope everything shows up well for you guys on stream. Let me know if you can't see anything. <laughs> time for everything. If his sources are off the mark, I could be flying halfway around the world and have nothing to show for it but a case of cheap vodka that tastes like lighter fluid and cigarettes that smell like old varnish. This 
kind of hard to believe. The peacenik perestroika happy president of the USSR meeting covertly with the CIA. In Moscow's mausoleum, no less. What the hell is that about? It's true. It'd make an interesting story. Well, story or no story, I hope at the very least this isn't as dangerous as that assignment in Berlin. If Eastern Europe is that tough, I hate to think of the kind of trouble I could run into in the Soviet Union. Oh right, this game is set at a time when there was still East and West Germany. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Yeah, that was a thing. I do like this transition. I'm afraid I have bad news to report. What happened? It's about Sonia Yakovleva. She's working for us at... I know who she is. Get on with it. Yes, of course. Well, comrade, our people have found that she has arranged a meeting with Grushka, head of the presidential guard. A secret meeting. And it was rumored that the president himself may attend. The president? Only Grushka could have arranged for the president to attend. You know how persistent he can be. I do. Perhaps we should delay the operation. Or maybe cancel it altogether. Yakovleva must suspect something. She could divulge everything to the president and Grushkov. The operation will take place as scheduled, Ivan. This is an unexpected eventuality. But one that simply requires a bit of improvisation. We know about the meeting. But they do not realize that their secret rendezvous has been discovered. That is to our advantage. You mean to eliminate them? Yes, but in a way that makes it look as if it is Grushkov and Yakovleva who have been planning some nefarious scheme. The president must believe that they are traitors. And in the end, he must have complete faith in the KGB. Perhaps we could frame them. Make the president believe that Khrushchev and Yakovleva called the meeting to lead him into a trap. An assassination attempt, perhaps? It will be rather difficult to make anyone believe that. Yes, they are not typical assassins. A CIA assassin would come in handy here. <laughs> CIA assassin? You may be on to something, Ivan. If the CIA were implicated in this matter, it would be a shock to the president and cause irreparable damage to Soviet-U.S. relations. But we'll have a hard time to get a CIA assassin to attend that meeting. Really? And how about that American journalist bastard who stuck his nose in our Berlin operation? Matthew Carter, the reporter? But he doesn't work for the CIA. Says who? Now listen carefully. Okay, so here's our plot. We're being implicated in an assassination as a CIA agent. Okay. Here's your passport, Mr. Carter. Enjoy your stay in Moscow. Why are her eyes that black? Like, that's... <laughs> that made her look so alien. Um, Pulitzer, here I come. According to Sergei's information, a secret meeting is expected to take place in the mausoleum between the president and ACIA agent. That should make a front page story. Oh, my dear. My dear dude. If only you knew. Okay. Isn't this a cheerful place. It makes Frankenstein's castle look like Disneyland. Sergei said this meeting is supposed to take place in front of Lenin's casket, right in the middle of this mausoleum. Use the W, S, A, and D keys and the mouse for basic movement. Is this the honest trailer Use the voice? Mouse wheel to change speed of movement. Use <laughs> shift to switch to crawl mode. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can also toggle this mode by pressing caps lock.
Okay. So we can sprint. Oh. When you can interact with an object, the action menu will appear on the top right corner of the screen. Enter the action menu by pressing and holding the right, right mouse button. Then use the mouse to cycle through the menu. Release the right mouse button to activate the chosen option. Oh, so that's how that works. Okay. So this is as fast as we can run. This is as slow as we can sneak. Ah, I see. Okay, I see, yeah. Oh, so I guess on the right side, that's a noise meter. The, the blue one in the corner, I think. Okay. Sounds good. Um, let's see. Let's save the game. Right mouse, open. Oh, locked. Okay. Too bad. Locked. Oh god, this guy is so slow. Holy shit, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> uh, also locked. So we have only one gate that we can go through. Got it. Take out the guard without alerting him. Use shadows and obstacles to surprise him from behind. The stealth meter in the bottom right corner of the screen is very useful to determine how visible you are. Oh, so that's visibility, not sound, but visibility. Got it. <laughs> Search the guard's pockets. Uh, gun, ammunition, plastic a bottle, small med kit. A gun and a plastic bottle. Anesthetics are very useful for prolonging the sleep of an unconscious enemy. Oh, we can actually remove bodies nice that is actually extremely useful let's put this guy in the corner here behind the bushes okay but that knockout animation like i swear to god a hit like that would knock somebody out for like 10 seconds and then they would be then they would be back up unless you do serious brain damage sergey i need the main entrance key why do you need it relax i just forgot some stuff inside i need to get it before my shift finishes don't forget to give it back to me i'll be right here I know, I know. I also hey, like how... The main entrance key. I must get it. But I definitely don't want to kill him. So shooting is not an option. Maybe I can load my gun with something non-lethal. Hmm. Plastic bottle, some standard bullets, a 
I should be able to fashion some sort of rubber bullet from this junk. Man, I amaze myself with the things I come up with. That ability has saved my ass so many times I lost track. Wow. Press F2 to open the assembly menu. Now let's make some rubber bullets using a plastic bottle and regular ammo. Is this game serious? Oh my god. <laughs> Seriously? We are making rubber bullets out of normal gun ammo and a plastic bottle. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Ether soak rags. Rag soaked of ether will quietly and painlessly knock out an enemy. 60 tech points. Luring device. A box of tricks to attract the attention of enemies. Standard ether mine knocks out anyone in the vicinity of the explosion. Okay. Um, well. Press I to show available components. Okay. Gun ammunition screws, plastic bottle can, alarm clock, rags, ether flask, anesthetics, a blinds parts, ether mine, luring device. Okay. Hold O to show help. Okay. Now the question is, how do I use those? Does O work here as well? No. Do I have a key bindings menu? Yeah, input mapping. Actions. Fire weapon, left mouse button. Can't no oh, now I can knock him out. Okay. There we go. Um Yeah, the game has been very great about telling me how to make this ammunition. But it hasn't done anything to show me how to actually use it. Like the game has not actually taught me how to use a gun. Oh, I should have searched the other guy as well. Um, let's get over there. Let's see. I don't want to open that yet. I want to see what else is here. Oh! A god is there. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah. Never mind, we're going inside. I thought, can I go? I cannot open that.
I want to get this guy so that I can get his items. I know we have limited inventory. I love how they always say who is it and then Jeez. now let's go inside and then just don't look oh we're back here got it um do, 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 do. can't open that God, these guys are staying knocked out very long. Jesus. How much power did we put into that punch? I can't pass through this laser fence unnoticed. There must be some way to switch it off. New objective added. Okay, is there anywhere where I can see my objectives? Oh, that's a map. Nice. I didn't know we actually had a map in this game. I should check this guard room. There might be something interesting inside. Collect tech points by picking up blueprints and other technical documents. Press F2 to open the assembly menu. In this screen, you may spend tech points in order to design blueprints for new gadgets. Once you've made the blueprint for a new gadget, you may assemble it using collected parts. When you've made at least three blueprints from the current gadget level, the next level is unlocked. Okay, rags and ether flasks. Okay. Sorry. We don't have enough tech points for that. Okay. Okay, this is super weird. Uh, up until now, this menu in the upper co right corner has been used uh, using the right mouse button and this time we actually have to use the left mouse button that is just really counterintuitive i don't know what they were thinking Oh. You you are dead. Mission failed. Okay. Yeah, I did not get this guy knocked out fast enough.
Oh. We ran out of space for our med kits. Can we open any of these? No. shouldn't really make any difference according to our map like where we go shouldn't make much of a difference is this locked Wow, we're just picking up every bit of rubbish that's lying around here, don't we? Okay, so this is just a little storage room. Got it. Um, I kind of want to explore the other side first before we go up there, uh, before we go through this door. Because there's the other staircase that we could have taken as well. Let's go. Let's be careful just in case there's anybody down here. Doesn't look like it though. Oh, that's a medium-sized med kit. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's save. 